Welcome everybody. Uh, sorry to keep you guys a couple of minutes. We had uh, we got a coaching clinic going on. There's a couple of things that we had to move around a little bit, but um, you know, practice number six. Uh, things are going well. Uh, we've been uh, two non-padded, uh, two uppers, and this will be our second full practice. Uh, so you know, you you see a, a a full practice. Some of the drills might make sense. Some of the drills might not. Uh, there will be a two-minute situation where we're moving the ball. Uh, <coughs> then other than that, it just primarily be a bunch of drills and stuff. So uh, you know, you're going to have 200 coaches out there to kind of kind of weave through. Uh, you know, and there's not as much safe uh, space as there is there in the stadium for you guys. But we don't apologize for that because there's a lot of space for us uh, out there to be able to, to get some stuff done. So the practice fields are working out great. <coughs> you guys are excited about playing. Guys are excited about their facility, and uh, we're getting a lot of good work in. Uh, a couple of uh, things <coughs> I want to uh, let y'all aware of: uh, guys that you won't see out there. Okay, uh, first one's Jackie Marcellus. Uh, he's he's decided to uh, uh, transfer to go somewhere where, where he's going to have a better opportunity to play. A uh, kid that's done everything right oh. academically. He's in good standing. Uh, he's a great kid. I, I will always support a guy. Uh, that just wants to try to go play somewhere. So I really support that. Javon Durant, uh, Larry Jefferson, and Josh Lambert uh, are all uh, suspended for the entire for spring practice. Uh, that Those guys are for a violation of team rules. <clears throat> we anticipate having all three of those guys back for summer, uh, but you won't see any of those guys out there as well. Uh, Dante Thomas-Williams has been suspended for spring ball as well <clears throat> due to uh, conduct detrimental to the team. Uh, his future is yet to be determined. Uh, two signees, Marcus Sims and Cody Saunders, are doing great, uh, but they're they got some uh, some things back home that they're trying to deal with here this uh, this weekend. We expect them back next week. So, uh, other than that, we're pretty healthy. Uh, you know, the only guy is uh, Gary <coughs> Gary Jefferson. Uh, Gary, I'm sorry, Gary Jennings uh, is going to be in a green jersey. He's got a wrist uh, uh, situation. Uh, he's he's going to be full go next week, but he won't be full go today. And uh, Jared Harper uh, is going to be in shoulder surgery. He's not going to be ready to go until the summer. So that, that, that's where we stand. I'll take uh, a couple of quick questions. As far as uh, Lonnie, were you surprised to let him? And who's, who's coaching the receivers now? I am. I mean, who do you think's been coaching them? I mean, I got a pretty long history with coaching receivers. So uh, I'm excited about this group. Uh, it's been fun for me. Uh, to be able to be in the room with these guys, <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, guys have opportunity, coaches have opportunities to move on. I'm never going to, uh, you know, think that's a negative thing. I think guys that leave here for promotions or something that's uh, very positive for our program. Uh, with that said, I've, I've been pretty fired up about getting into the receiver room and doing stuff that I did for 15 years. So uh, I think these guys are going to be just fine. Close to having a replacement. Yeah. So you anticipate that before spring's over? Uh, Maybe. Potentially, mm -hmm. you know how the hiring process sure. goes. I mean, it's a lot of that stuff's out of my control. There's a lot of interest in this job. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty confident that we'll get a guy in here that can help make us better. <clears throat> How's Skyler's progression been up to this point in spring? It, it, it's good. I mean, he's he's pretty comfortable. I mean, the last time he played live football, he threw for 560 yards. The second all time in the history of West Virginia football with its storied past. Uh, so he, he's pretty he's pretty good. I tell you, I'm really happy with what we're doing up front. With Coach Crook and Coach Woodline, those guys are working well together. It's really improving our, our, our pass protection, which in turn makes uh, Skyler a little bit more comfortable. And then the better he is with the timing aspect of the receivers, the better everybody's going to be. So it's not just about him and his development. It's about everybody else's development around him. What are you seeing out of the way the uh, running back situation is shaking up? Russ looks better than I've seen him. <laughs> he, he's... He's in a good place. He's healthy. He feels good. He's in a he's in a good place. Kenny McCoy is is way 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 better than expected. So he he he's wearing number four uh, out there, and it, it resembles the other number four. So he's he's on he's on track. He's a smart kid. He's picking things up. He looks good. Who's handling Josh? Little Mike Mike Molina <clears throat> and Billy Kenny. Uh, is doing some of that as well. You know, we're going to add John Young, so we're going to have another body uh, to be able to add to that. Um, you know, those, those guys are doing fine now, but it's about their development and it's about uh, progression in, in camp as well. What role does it Video. It's a great video. How do you use it? 
Yeah, it it, just, it shoots video right to your phone, right to a computer where you can you can you get great shots. I mean, obviously you can move it around. You know, so we got two of them flying around. We had to clear it with the FFA because we're within the, <laughs> seriously because we're within five yard, uh, miles of the airport. Uh, but I'd like to get about three or four of them up there because they give you different angles and you can you can you can learn a lot of technique and hand placement. There's there's a, there's a highlight video aspect to it but there's a teaching element to it as well that you can get some angles that i've never seen before there's been been a noticeable difference with the defense with so many guys graduating we look the same to me i mean we're in this we're in year three of the same scheme uh th those guys are flying around doing a great job <laughs> uh you, you you look at the first team defense right now and it's loaded full of juniors and seniors so we're at a point in, in this program where we're not replacing guys that graduated with new guys, junior college guys or freshmen. We're replacing them with guys that have been in the program for three years. So it, it looks like the same defense to me. Dana, just to follow up off of Bob said, is this the first time you've used those drones? And what gives you the idea? <laughs> yeah, my son, he, he, he uh, you know, he's a freshman here at Morgantown High School. He gets on my back porch and he flies that thing all around the neighborhood. And I'm sitting there looking at it going, gosh, you're getting angles and video of things I've never seen before. So let's try it up here. So video guys as soon as we got clearance and i'm honest when i said that we had to get clearance from the airport to be able to do it uh then we just started uh, experimenting with it a little bit and getting different angles and i just tell i tell kyle butler our video guy just give me a different angle every day and we'll figure out